So look what's just arrived. It's a high efficiency LED driver, 60 watt, and a 50 watt high power LED. And these both came from Sure Electronics. So let's quickly unbox the LED driver. Here we go. And there it is. And that's the high efficiency LED driver. Also comes with a manual. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, yeah, tricky. So what's the first thing you do with a brand new boxed product? You unbox it, of course. Okay, and there's the board. We have an inductor, multi-turn pot, some MOSFETs and diodes by the look of it, and two chips, uh, one up here with a big blob of black epoxy on it, and one down here, another big blob of black epoxy. They don't really want us seeing what these chips are. Now I've rooted around and found an English version of the data sheet and there does seem to be a bit of an issue here, particularly for me, because I want to drive this from 12 volts. And that is here. It says, please confirm that both input voltage and input current cannot exceed the specified values, refer to parameters, otherwise LED driver may be damaged. And on the other side, up here, it says maximum input current, 3 amps. Now if I put 12 volts into this thing, and I'm limited to 3 amps, that's 36 watts of input. Now we're going to lose a little bit of um, power in the driver, so that gives a maximum output of about 30 watts, not 60 watts, which this thing is capable of. But if you look at the end of this unit, it says rated input voltage 24 volts DC, and this thing will only output 60 watts. I'll only be able to drive this 50 watt LED if I put 24 volts in, not 12. So the only way this is going to work is to pre-boost the 12 volts coming in here to 24, feed that from the pre-boost converter into the LED driver. That then will be able to produce the full 50 watts of output to drive the 50 watt LED. Now you're probably thinking, why, if I've got this boost converter, which is perfectly capable of producing the 36 or so volts to drive this LED, um, and it has current control as well as voltage control, why don't I just use this? Well, the reason is because this LED driver has PWM. There it is, the PWM input. So it means that you can control the brightness um, or switch the LED on and off by putting a digital signal on that PWM input. And this device can't do that. And I've looked at the data sheet for the chip here. Um, I can't read the number off it at the moment, but it doesn't have an enable input. So it doesn't look like this unit can have PWM control. So this is how it's going to have to be. The pre-booster, the LED driver with PWM control input and my 50 watt LED. Let's wire it all up. Right, this is all wired up. Uh, please excuse the mess. So let's plug in the 12 volts on this side. Uh, so we've got 24 volts coming out of the um, pre-booster. Then there's the LED driver and the LED has come on. Um, not very bright because I've not set the current adjust. There's a current adjust potentiometer there and I just set it down to the minimum. Um, because I'm not quite sure how much power I can uh, draw from my 12 volts, which is coming off the cigar lighter distribution socket there. But anyway, um, the other thing, of course, is that you need an ammeter in these wires here uh, to set the current for the LED. So I'm going to do that later on. But I wanted to next look at the PWM. So I've put this wire into the PWM input, and uh, I'm just going to have a look at the uh, data sheet again. Now the data sheet doesn't give much away about PWM. On the English data sheet, it just shows a thing called controller. If you go back to the Chinese data sheet, it at least calls it an LDC01. So this is some other module, which um, presumably you can get 
um, to interface with the driver. But I want to um, ultimately use an Arduino for this. So I had a look inside the unit and there's an opto isolator in there. And I worked out that you can um, switch this thing by putting the PWM down to the negative input. So if I do that, it turns the lead off. So if I want to PWM this thing, I'm going to be just turning it on and off by grounding this um, PWM pin. Now there is also a 100 watt version of this LED driver. And since this setup appears to work, um, pre-boosting the 12 volts to 24, I might um, get hold of the 100 watt version of this and the 100 watt LED and uh, do some experiments with pulse width modulating that. Um, but for the moment, um, that's really the end of this experiment. This works. Um, I will then do a follow up on this uh, with more on PWM and in particular interfacing an Arduino to have uh, brightness control.